Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing a brand new indie horror game on Steam. It's called Inside the Labs. The developers have kindly given me early access to the game. I'm going to be playing in VR with Prey Dogs UE VR mod. It's a one to four player co-op horror game. So let's dive in. Okay, we need to run the game. Today I'm playing on the Quest 3. I'm using the virtual desktop streamer on my PC and I'm also using virtual desktop in my headset and I'm connected to my PC with a cable. This does work with virtual desktop. Okay, the game's running. We need to run UEVR. Open XR. Find the game in the drop down box and inject. Okay, I did try this last night, I had a few problems, so I'm going to explain how I solved all the problems. Now in the headset, you can't see anything at the moment. It's just a gray screen. So I made sure I set the standing height, set the standing origin, recent to view, and the everything came into view look. And the actual game worked as normal. Today I'm going to be playing with the Xbox gamepad because um, the uh, my left controller uh, the battery went on me when I was at the gym this morning. So my controllers need charging up. What the hell is that? Can you, can you see that? There's something over there in the doorway. I don't like that. So when I said I tried this last night, I tried it at the start of the game. I was in the garden. I did not even enter the house. I just wanted to make sure the uh, 3D was working. This is perfect. Look at this. I'm inside the game world now. I've got all these weird um, blobby effect things floating around. Let's jump into the game and I'll show what I changed in the main menu. We're going to have a look at the settings. I did not change anything in the settings. I left this all alone. Look. Graphics are on Epic. And we're going to jump into a single player game. You have to select a character. I'm going for the middle character. Also, you have to choose a, a map. I'm going to play the game on easy mode. Um, now, this map, for some reason, when I started, my character was spinning round. So I decided to try a different map, this one here. And um, everything worked perfectly. So, fingers crossed, this is going to work. Let's start a new game. I'm recording my desktop as well, so the screen might wobble slightly when I move my head. But in the headset, it's super smooth. Okay, here we are. Okay, I can see my body, so I do need to um, bring up the UEVR menu. And I need to select standing height, standing origin, and recenter view. That should put me in the right spot. In the camera section, you need to make sure you go down to the couple pitch and make sure it says enabled. If you don't, when you move the right thumbstick, it moves the camera up and down. It looks a bit weird. If you hit enabled, oh, there's a cat there, made me jump. That's going to keep your headset level with the ground. Also in the advanced options, I went into console slash CVARs. In here, I turn the ambient occlusion off. I might turn it up. Depth of field, I turn off as well. I might put that back to normal. Light culling, if you have any issues in one eye, I found that light culling, turn that off, normally gets rid of any issues. This is running in native stereo mode. So far, no issues, no double textures, no flashing textures. I can see my hair there. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to turn down my screen percentage to 80 just so it's a bit more fluid recording for you guys. And I went into the tone mapper dot sharpen and uh, you can mess around with this, make the game look sharper. And that's it really. So I'm going to try and remember to save my uh, profile and upload it to the uh, Discord. 
Okay, we're in the game. Hello there, cat. Now, I do have a torch. You have to hold down the left D-pad for the torch. Now, on the Quest 3, the Quest 3 does have a thumb sensor. It's normally where you rest your thumb. So you have to hold your thumb over the thumb sensor and then you hit your buttons to scroll through the, uh, the D-pad. So we're in the game. Uh, this looks amazing. That's a black cat. Last night when I tried the game, it was a Ginger Tom. So we need to go into this building. I don't really know anything about the game. I've tried to keep away from any spoilers or trailers. All I know, it's a co-op survival horror game. So we need to find a key. Is that the cat's box? It is. Like most of these games in UEVR, your cursor is very hard to see and in a lot of these games with the UEVR mod you can't see your cursor. I found that by moving the right thumbstick I can bring the cursor into view. You can see it working here with the light. So the light is actually where my cursor is pointing. Now some objects you might not be able to pick up unless your cursor is in the middle. So for here look, I can't pick up the key. If I bring the cursor down with the right thumbstick, I get a prompt and I now have the main key for the door. Okay, it's really dark in here. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm looking for clues. can of coke. Can I pick it up? So I'm moving the cursor till I get the prompt. We have a can of energy drinks. What's that? That's gruesome. So right now my brain thinks I'm crazy. Do we need to hide in there? We can hide. That's not a good sign guys. Shit, my torch has gone out. And I chart. Did I see something move? I'm freaking out already. What the hell? Oh crap! Shit! <laughs> hide, hide, hide! I've got goosebumps. You little creepy sod. Look at the chicken. Look at the goosebumps. What the hell is that thing? It chased me. I guess we need to avoid... Is that my blood? Is there, you creepy sod. Go away. I'm going this way. They're coming! Run, PD, run. Cat, kill it, cat. Is he coming? Is he coming? Okay, he can't come outside. That's good to know. Whew. What is this game? Is there a lot? I'm going to shut the door. What are you? Go away. I can't do anything with that hanging around. Yeah, go away, mate. My battery's getting low. I need some batteries. He's got three heads. Okay, he came from over here, so let's go this way quick. I've got a feeling I'm going to run out of batteries really quickly. The artwork's not helping. Okay, battery. Okay, get the cursor right. There we go. We have a new battery. Lots of blood everywhere. What hell? Doom. Oh, it's a pipe. There's pipes everywhere.
Okay, we're going to go this way. What's that? It's very tense again in the icon. Battery. I don't have enough room. There's dead bodies in here. So this is more or less working straight out the bag with you if you are. My battery's getting low. Torch. Is that a second torch? Okay, so we have a UEVR light. All right. That makes it more scarier. Press the face button to use a battery. Okay, the A button changes the battery. So we seem to be in some sort of a hospital or lab, first aid kit. Ah, shit! Don't do that to my game. Some sort of slug monster. This is very similar to... Uh, it's coming in. This is very similar to uh, Lethal Company. Where's he gone? I was not watching. Where did he go? Can you slither away? Let's go this way. Okay, what happened in here? Is that alive? We have squid. Oh, there's a dead body. He's got no head. What is that? Is that an alien? That's creepy. So we're inside a lab and it looks like these creatures are roaming around. I think I've got objectives to do but what the hell? Okay this is some messed up shit. What are my objectives? Inventory full. Something's rumbling. It's really dark and creepy in here as well. Don't forget, my brain thinks this is a real place. I don't know what to expect. A lot of blood here. I'm looking for things in the dark. Spanner. That's going to come in handy, I think. Lots of places to hide, very similar to alien isolation. They've done a really good job with atmosphere. So this is like a four player game, so I guess the these extra torches are for other people. What's in the bag? 
Okay, we discovered the subject's name. I'm having to use my uh, right thumbstick to move around because of the torch. I can move my head normally, look. Like a normal VR game, but there's no, there's no light. Okay, it looks like we're finding clues. Oh, crap! It's the slug monster. Go away. He doesn't seem to be uh, quite aggressive. As the other guy. Yeah, you go away, mate. What's this? Place a trap. Oh crap! <laughs> you imposter. Why did he die? Right shoulder, place a trap. Okay, I need some health, I think. I can see blood on the screen. I have a walkie-talkie. Hold down the left trigger. Inventory. I can't see a pointer on the screen, so I'm having to use my my monitor look. I need to use a medical kit. Is he going to get stuck in the trap? He seems harmless. Okay, I have another trap. This place is so big though, where do we place the traps? There's a brain. Body part, evidence. Okay, there's a trap there. That's going to allow me to... Oh crap! Where the hell... Shit, do I... Can I... Can I down the trap? Oh, he's there. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Can we ball a little sod? He looks amazing. What the hell? Why am I still alive? Okay, I need an antidote. I'm infected. Okay, I healed myself. Hitting the A button again. Give me the pills! So you hold down your left thumbstick to run. Batteries. Okay, is this the room with a trap? Hello tree. So it's a matter of finding the clues, hiding from the monsters. I need a fag. No escape. Something moving down there. I see movement. That's the little guy again. So is this the room with a trap?
This is going to be the first time the developer sees their game running in a VR headset as well. And I can tell the developers this is really scary. I bet it's a lot of fun playing with their friends. There's my trap. Who's been in the cupboards? So that guy was in here. He was hiding around here. He's gone. I can see you at the bottom end there. I'm going to stand here. Where is he? Oh crap! Got him with a trap! Take that! Okay, he doesn't like the traps. I guess he's hunting me. Did he come this way? He did. I fuck it. Go away. Do I turn as well? Okay, I don't have any more antidotes. Can you see that red mist on the screen? Yeah. So that red mist is like a, a giant square in front of me. So in the UVR menu, you might be able to um, get rid of the hood. <coughs> One time I died. Okay, let me go to the main menu. Let's try a different location. I don't think anyone's going to be playing multiplayer yet. All I know is the uh, developers have been reaching out to people on Twitter, content creators. Okay, let's try the uh, Westwood Laboratory. And let's go for a different character. Let's go for Sarah. We need to do the same process. Set standing height. Recenter view, okay. Okay, do I have a torch? Yes. Okay, I guess we need a key. There's a camera here as well. So what's the camera for? So it looks like we've broken in through the fence. There's a trap here. I know it's a trap. I can hear banging already. I don't think these types of games would be scary for me on a normal flat screen. You only get that sense of immersion and dread these days in a VR horror game. VR takes this to another level. Okay. Again, it's pitch black. We do seem to have some traps on the floor. 
Clap it this up. Some white shirts over there. I can hear you running. Wherever you are. I don't know if anyone will believe what I'm about to say, but I need to document it. I was working late in Westwood Lab, and as I ascended to the top floor, I heard something, something beyond explanation. So there's something on the top floor. I'm hoping we get some new monsters. Antidote, I need that. So when I get bit, it's really dark in here. There's a bang, that was outside. There's actually a bang outside my real house. We've got some workmen next door. Okay, there's a skull here. Can I grab the skull? I can't grab it. Okay, an empty room. There's flies in here. And there's a body part. Evidence. We have some evidence. I can hear somebody murmuring. So it looks like you can only carry one item at a time. Ah, shit, you <coughs> bugger. Where are you? I can hear you. Go away. Has he gone? He's not. Oh, what the hell is that? That was like a creeping baby. That gave me goosebumps. Hello, baby. How long do we wait in here? I can't see or hear anything. Has he gone? I need to be careful. I could get trapped in here. It's a dead end. Please creep away. He's gone. No, he's there. I can see you. I heard him walking. You can't do this in the normal game. You can't look through the, the vents, look. In sixth off. Shh. Let's risk it. Okay, he's gone. It's the eyes. Okay, let's go in here, might be safe. Close the door, PD. Okay, there's a camera. 
There's a body cam, but my inventory is full. So we need to take our evidence somewhere, don't we? And then come back for that. So where do we take... What's that banging? Where do we take all the evidence? Battery. And if I look down, look, I can see my actual body. It's hard to see. There we go. There's something else, something outside the door. Yeah, look at that creepy sod. It's a baby with no skin. I'm going this way. Tin cans. Can he get caught on these traps? I don't have the UEVR light this time, there's a trap here. Inventory is full. More evidence. I need to find somewhere to put the evidence. Like a locker room or something. Okay, I'm putting a trap here. So if anything follows me, they're going to get spiked. Is that a door? So I should be safe from behind! You little bugger! Chase me, can I go over my spike? Kill it! He got me. I'm infected, aren't I? Little git. Okay, objectives. Identify the mutation, find a body part of evidence, find a chemical evidence, capture a photo of the mutant. Inventory, I need my antidote. No, I don't. I have a body cam. Mutant, what's mutant? Are these the... Uh... Oh, we need to identify the mutation. Tutorial. I might need to heal myself. Inventory, medical kit, there we go. So there might be a way to show the uh, cursor on screen when you're in the inventory. What is that? There's a mass here. Someone's been in the uh, first aid box. Yeah, I can hear you crawling around back there.
thank you. That needs repairing. I don't have my wrench. Uh, that's a blobby mass that's moved. Why don't they work? So that something's rattling back there. There's a big mass that's exploded a lot and there's something So we're still looking for evidence. There are noises all around me. Battery. Chemicals. Okay, we need that. It's a bandage here as well. I think I'm full though. Another trap. I think I'm full. This is a big wide open area. Okay, new battery. So we've found three items so far. Stop giving me heart attacks. Okay, cassette player. This is Dr. Catherine Williams addressing all staff in Westwood Laboratory. Effective immediately. We're back at the start. I'm going to um, try and escape. Oh, there's a power box here. But the lights don't work. So I've gone around in full circle. Someone behind me. That was weird. Okay, let me bring up my menu. Go back. Okay, we need to capture a photo of the mutant and we need to identify the mutation. So do I have a camera on me? Body cam. I have a camera somehow. How do oh right, there we go. Hold down the uh, up arrow on the D-pad. It brings up the uh, camera mode. Do I just need to take a photo of anything? Any creatures? I've not been around here. What? 
E.T. phone home. So that's my camera mode. Here's the mutagen. Look at that. So is the mutagen one of the monsters or is it just something I need to take a photo of? What's that sound? So anything spooky, I'm going to try and take a photo. I think we've been in here. So was that mass on the floor, the mutagen? My lights are flickering. Okay, what's that thing there? I've got a photo of it. Let me go into my inventory. Go back. Capture a photo of the mutant. We don't have a photo yet. I can see you over there. There's a trap here. Is this the mutant? I'm just going to take photos of the uh, dead things here. Look. Oh crap! I can hear you tampering away. Run! Ah. Leave me alone! Can't hide nowhere. Keep running, PD. Keep running. Keep running. My torch is low. Oh, the stairs here. On the stairs, he's still following me. There's a trap here. Can I get him in the trap? Shit, he got me. He died. You little git. Okay, we need healing. I'm upstairs. Yes. My inventory is full. I need to get rid of something. What can I drop? Okay, full health, full battery. So we're exploring the top of the... Uh, We're exploring the top of the lab now. Cleaver. More stairs. Let's go up. Oh, hello there, little creepy baby. Look at you. Can you go away, please? He's waiting for me. Hello mate, are you still? Do you need help? Look at the eyes. Are you a friend? I don't have no nappies on me. What happened to your face? You're so cute. He's going away.
Put the trap down there, he's not interested. Hello? Are you a friend? Have you been snacking on these bodies? Okay, he seems friendly. He's my guide. I am still missing the uh, mutation, aren't I? I'm getting lost. Is that my friend? Is that a new creature? I want to see the new creature. And then we'll end the video, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Oh, hello there. Oh, crap. They die when they uh, attack you. Is my baby friend? So I can't find this mutagen. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Can I take a photo of the baby? Say cheese. Well, you can't say cheese. You've got no mouth. Uh. Go away. <laughs> See you later.